So here we go, we're gonna start up our war with China, but first we have to figure out some city-state allies. And we have to grab the alliance with Mongolia, because as you can see, my main strategy in entering Chinese territory is going to be through Mongolian, uh, through, through, the, through the Mongolian nation. So it's very, very important. I can ally them right now. I took about one or two turns off so that I can uh, navigate my troops and my air force into the right spot. So I think I'm ready to go. Uh, but yeah, let's definitely, you know, I'll probably take one more turn. I just want to make sure I get my alliances now, and I'll probably denounce China uh, before before I go to war. So let's go ahead and denounce them now. I know that Vietnam wants me to, den to denounce them. I have about 1,500 gold, so I, I think I can pick up either three or four allies here. Uh, and it's going to be really important. I, I need to try to use these allies. I need to try to pick up the, the right city-states. It's very, very important that I pick up the right city-states here. So let's go ahead and publicly denounce uh, China here. Bam. Sorry, buddy. I, I just I don't like you anymore. We don't like each other. Okay, so I've denounced China. Uh, Vietnam asked me to denounce China. Uh, obviously, Vietnam would be an excellent uh, ally here, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get past America with their over 119 influence. That's unfortunate. Also, for one of my uh, social policies over the break, I went and grabbed the level 3 tenet of freedom, which is going to allow me to get four extra influence per turn for city-state trade routes. And I have been starting to trade with a few city-states, specifically, uh, specifically Libya, where we go? Yeah, L Libya and Sweden. So we'll have to keep that in mind. I might want to maybe go down to Vietnam at some point, but I don't think my trade routes in the Pacific Ocean are going to be very valuable uh, anymore. Because I don't, I don't know how much China has in terms of a, of a naval fleet, but we'll, we'll keep an eye on it. Okay, so yeah, let's grab our alliances. Let's go ahead and just, this is obvious. Now, there's two that I have to pick up. Mongolia is obviously one. Uh, so India is about 38 points away from us. Best bet was probably probably just drop 500, unfortunately. Um, I don't think I can do anything that really help. They, you want units, but I can't help you out that. And uh, you want spices. I don't think I can connect spices for you. Let's just do run one really quick. Obviously, if I can be as efficient as possible here without wasting too much gold, that would be ideal. Uh, I don't know if that's going to happen. I'm not a very efficient player, I guess you could say, uh, at the least. Uh, come on, come on, spices. Spices, somebody. Please, somebody give me spices. Uh, doesn't look like it. I would like more aluminum. Okay, so no one's going to have spices. That's fine. We'll just throw 500 gold their way and uh, boom, take up that alliance. All right, so the other one that we have to pick up is Poland. Uh, and Poland's important because Poland borders me uh, in the west part of my Russian empire, the western part of my Russian empire. So I cannot have, I can't be fighting them at the same time. I really don't want to. So I'm thinking 500 gold should do it here too. All right, so we're down to 575 gold. I'd like to pick up, obviously, two more alliances, uh, but those were the absolute crucial ones that I needed to take at the moment. Uh, Sweden, I don't need to worry about. Oh, I can't even take them because Mexico has 160 influence. That is crazy. So who else am I really, really close with? Let's just examine some of these. Obviously, I'd like to steal away some more Chinese alliances. Colombia, we won't be able to take them. Uh, Canada's way ahead. We are really kind of far behind in the whole city-state alliance game. Very far behind. Spain. Now, Spain is actually being attacked right now, and I believe it is by France. I think France is dominating Madrid, and, and so France might take this over. It might not be a bad idea for the future to ally with, with Spain. That way, you know, France doesn't gain even more power uh, in Europe. But I don't think I can afford that at the moment. It's not really going to help me out at all in the war. Oh, Kazakhstan. Oh, I'm only 16 points of influence behind Kazakhstan. Afghanistan I could also pick up, but I can't pick up both of them. Now, those, both of those nations technically border China. The problem is that they, well, they kind of don't at the same time. Um, Afghanistan is, is here. They're kind of covered with mountains. Kazakhstan does, technically. There's a small, small sliver. Uh, now, what would these guys provide me? So Kazakhstan is a militaristic city-state, whereas Afghanistan is cultured. So, yeah, I'm leaning towards Kazakhstan right now. And I think that's what we should do. Ooh, Fiji. I'm only one point of influence away. They're going to provide me culture. Yeah, that seems like a waste. We'll just wait for that. If, that, if, that. if they were allied to China, then yeah, I'd probably take them away just to, you know, get rid of some of these Chinese alliances. But, you know, they're not. So, yeah, I'm going to leave them. I'm going to leave them be. Whoa, a lot of Chinese alliances down south here. Or I guess down at the bottom of this window. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and just ally Kazakhstan. I think this is going to be kind of best best case scenario. I don't I don't see any other way we can do this. Uh, but the good thing is, wait a second, I can I can pick up four city state alliances because boom right there. Uh, I can't pick up Afghanistan. Unfortunately, I'm just too far behind. Yes, but I can pick up Fiji, and why not? 
Uh, it's in the Pacific. It might maybe distract some some uh, some of the things that are going on in the Pacific and maybe distract the Chinese fleet, I'm hoping. So there we go. And I'm kind of worried. I don't even know if I want to wait one turn. Maybe we should just declare war now. I don't want China or anyone else to take these away because then I'm going to be out of gold. Actually, no, I'll have – as long as they all don't get taken away, I'll play it risky. As long as they all don't get taken away, I think things should be fine. Uh, I really want to wait one more turn though just to see what goes down. Oh, here we go. And maybe I can convert a few provinces here or I can uh, convert a few uh, cities. I'm thinking of EU4. Everyone stay there because I did just move. Oh, here we go. Here's the last one. Oh, we'll have to wait till next turn anyways. Yeah, I guess we'll wait till next turn. You guys just stay there. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with these units. I guess an artillery unit can go, can go there. And the atomic bomb, if I can, uh, I can't have them go any closer unless I move the MIGs, which I should do that actually, because the MIG, MIGs have terrible, terrible range. So you know what? This is actually a good idea. We'll move you guys this way. Uh, move the atomic bomb closer because the atomic bomb has terrible range compared to the nuclear missile. And that is it in terms of workers. Uh, I know that Libya wanted a road. Uh, and we just have to fix that pillage tile there, and that should satisfy those needs. Okay, let's cross our fingers, make sure no one takes over any of our city-state alliances, because I'm only, I'm only going to have 250 to be able to deal with this. Uh, relationship with Afghanistan, okay, yeah, get over it. I don't care. Just don't just don't ask me if I'm about to go to war with you, as long as you don't ask me that. Well, I would, because I would absolutely have to deny him that. The only reason why I think we can take on China is because we're going to get the first nuke nuclear hits. Um... Oh, good. America doesn't like China either. Uh, we also need to go to America and, and make sure that he gives us something for this war. Uh, I'm sure he's willing. I'm sure he'd be willing to partake in some gold or something like that. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, our, we're going to have to start breaking down the NATO alliance. And I understand that it's technically not NATO because if it was NATO, uh, then Turkey would have been called in with Germany, France, and you know, you know, everyone, Canada, the U.S. Uh, I'm just, I, I, I wanted to kind of address that. I know that we're pretty late in this series, but uh, yes, I, I know it's not NATO. That's just what I'm referring to it as because it's pretty much, I think, the essence of NATO kind of. Uh, okay, defensive pack with India. This is going to break, so I, I'll accept this, but I'm going to declare war right now, so I don't know if that's really going to work. But I guess, hey, last minute, maybe, maybe Brazil, randomly, across the other side of the world, might want to go to war with me. And by the way, over the break... Every Western nation was trying to get me to go to war with Brazil, and I'm sure that's going to be the next big war that breaks out. Uh, I don't really care about it because the, the, here's my plan. We're going to go to war with China, and right after China, we're going after NATO. I'm not waiting any longer. We need to go because uh, I, 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 I fear a, an American victory here. I, whether that be through a science victory or, or a diplomatic victory, which I think might be even more po uh, possible, we have – Five more vote or five more turns for the world leader votes, and they have like 33 votes. You need like 55 to win, but still, it's still something. We still have to be careful of that. Uh, come on. Oh gosh, that's a lot of. What is this? Don't tell me. Open borders has ended with Tony Abbott. Okay, that's fine. Pearls and spices are wanted through my cities. Just, just make sure that I have my alliances up still. I've got Fiji, Mongolia, Kazakhstan, Poland. There we go. I believe I'm allied to somebody else, but I think it might have – too much time might have gone by. Oh, yeah, I'm allied to uh, Iraq. Okay, yeah, and they're still here. So I, I guess I have all five. Where's where's the Iraqi – there it is, down at the bottom. Okay. All right, so, yep, we're ready to go. Let's kick this off. Let's make sure that we're working the right thing. Uh, we built another battleship in the Black Sea, which is what I've been wanting to do. I definitely need to build a lot more nuclear bombs – or nuclear missiles, I should say, because I'm going to use a lot here in this war. A lot. And I do need to eventually build the iron works. Um, but for now, let's go ahead and just focus on, you know, maybe you should just build another battleship. Prepare. Yeah, prepare ourselves. Yeah, six turns for a battleship. I love it. Let's do that. All right. You need to be careful. Thank thank you. You, you, you built the missile cruiser. Um, let's let's go ahead and, and have us have you build a battleship too. I understand the missile cruisers are stronger, but the missile cruisers are uh, annoying with their with their lack of range. I like it. I like the way the mod. Well, it's not the lack of range, but something something about the missile cruiser that's that the battleship does better. There is something I, I believe. Maybe I'm smoking crack on that, but I, I thought I thought he recognized something in the previous video that I didn't like about the missile cru uh, cruiser, but I can't remember anymore. Okay, continue to clean the fallout, and uh, here we go. And wait a second before I do this, can I ally? Seventy nine. Dang. Yep. I'm quite. If I had five hundred gold, I'd be able to do it. If I'm willing to wait, or, or, wait a second. Now, wait a second, wait a second, real quick here. Technically, we don't have to worry about this. I can keep, I can sway Vietnam into the war 
uh, last minute. I'm sure I can trade something to America here. We're friends. Give me 240 for this. Perfect. Bam. That's 500. Let's get Vietnam down in, the, down in on the war. Boom. Yes. All right. Perfect. This is great. Oh, my goodness. Look at China here. All right. So more than likely, Vietnam's going to get taken over. And that's fine. As long as they're distracted with most of the units down south, I, I don't want them to be up north at all. That's like my biggest thing I I'm most concerned with. Uh, let the north be. You know, let us walk into your cities. And my main plan is to walk into Beijing as fast as possible. We've got a, a BMP2 that should be able to walk in with maybe one or two nukes. I don't want to waste two nukes on this one city, but one nuke uh, and maybe a few artillery attacks which actually I don't think I'll, I'll, I'll be able to. I'll probably nuke Beijing once and then get ready for rocket artillery to attack multiple times. I can always attack from the north, but if I, I my, my theory is that if I take their capital, then everything will just crumble. Uh, their empire will, will crumble, crumble. So let's hope that that actually happens. I guess I could do a nuclear missile and an atomic bomb. That might not be a terrible idea. I'm going to give them both. And, uh, yeah, I'm not going to read all this. There's just a couple of friends. People are, yeah, I've become really friendly with city-states. All right, here we go. Declare the war. Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. I almost forgot this. I totally almost forgot. I just talked about it, too. Declare war. I'm going to declare war on China. What are you going to give me for this? You're willing to give me coal? I don't need the coal. Can you give me 50? Can you give me, like, 100 gold? Coal would be about 75. This should be enough. No. Okay, I just, just come on. Just give me, okay, how about this? 160, pretty much. You give me 160 gold. That's fine. All right, so I've declared war on China. Here we go. Let's let this begin. This is a big one. Uh, let's not waste the bombardment here. Let's make sure that... And I want to be careful. I need to be nuking the right cities. And I probably should just go all out. I should probably nuke most of their cities. Now, the problem is I am taking a risk. I'm not removing my spies. I'm not spying on any Chinese cities. That's a problem. I understand that. Um, but I just don't have enough time. My, my spies just got done establishing surveillance. I'm sorry. Uh, they just got done reading elections. So I just I don't have enough time, I don't think, to establish surveillance. I want to do this now. I want to kick this off fast. All right. So boom. Let's go ahead and nuke the capital. Let's see what happens. Maybe everything might just break right here. Uh, okay. Good. Good to see that my, my whole just computer didn't blow up in my face. Thought it might have. Okay. So I could probably, possibly, let's see. Could I take it with one more nuke? I cannot. I can walk in, though. I could probably walk in. I've already destroyed the units in this area. Uh, well, let's, let's make sure that we for sure use one nuclear missile here. And let's hopefully be careful of Japan. Japan has, uh, looks like, foreign legions uh, in Chinese territory. We're just going to barely dodge them, which is good. Obviously, that would be a terrible thing to get involved with in, in a war with China. Uh, I'm sorry, with Japan. I'm already in war with, uh, with China. Uh, yeah, I do not want to get involved with, with Japan. I want to leave Japan alone. Uh, looks like I'm going to have to t attack this archaeologist. That's fine. Uh, let's also make sure that we destroy this destroyer. We have a submarine here that should be able to do it. Okay, well, he's not going to do it, but he will get the job done. I should move here. Bam, back this guy up because I'm not ready to just run into the Bay of Korea just yet. I will. Don't get me wrong. I want to, but just not yet. Okay, so this tank bomb can't doesn't have very much range. I, I think I'll drop it here. Let's go ahead and just drop one tank bomb here. I'm sure there's probably a few more units. Let's stay on the road. Now, these are rocket artillery, so they'll be okay. Dang. I don't... We're going to have to move... Let's see here. Wait a second. Before I just move in there, is there a T-90 somewhere around? I know there's got to be a tank. Did I just send BMPs? Here's a T-90. All right. So now we have vision. Good. So there's, there's no units uh, in this area. Let's, let's also get the BMPs ready to go. Uh, mainly, I want to make sure that I use my, my western flank here just off the capital of, of Mongolia for attacking this city, while most of the ones on the east go and attack Beijing and help support the attack of, of the capital city. So let's make sure that we do that. Uh, let's maybe even plunder their uh, uranium, just to be safe. Don't want to be nuked. Really don't want to be nuked. This is one of those campaigns where I really do not want to be nuked. The Rome campaign, on the other hand, I was totally cool with it. I remember that campaign like yesterday. I was so excited to be nuked. Uh, I, I am not looking forward to that at all in this one because I know how just devastating that will be. Okay, so there's a T-90 here. I'm still considering maybe dropping one more on Beijing. I could. I could. Is there anything MG? Well, actually, you know, I have a lot of jet bombers. The jet bombers could probably do the job here. But the thing is, we need uh, we need vision. Okay, so let's let's move in. 
There we go. Okay. So I, I probably, I'm, I've pretty much told myself I'm not going to nuke Beijing anymore. And I feel like that would be a waste as it is. That would be a pretty big waste. Uh, I, I shouldn't be doing two nukes per city. That's a dumb idea. Okay, there's the MIGs or the MIGs. I, I don't know exactly. I know you guys tell me to pronounce it one way. I don't know. Not super. I don't know anything about aircrafts at all. Planes, stuff like that. Oh, it looks like we might get it down. A few more jet bomber attacks. Oh, it's getting close. I mean, we could use those fighter type airplanes. That might be enough. This, this might be enough. Oh, we didn't get it. That's okay. The T-90 should get it. <gasps> no, we didn't do it right. Oh, no, we're, we're fine. Oh, I was about to be worried right there. Okay, good. We took the capital city right away. Perfect. Let's create a puppet. How are we doing in happiness? We actually have more happiness now. Uh, let's get our artillery in range. We don't really have to worry about uh, too many Chinese troops. Can we attack this city? Yeah, we can, and we will. So, yeah, I think that uh, we got very lucky with that French war. The French declared war, and they dropped a nuke. That was very helpful, I think. Can we uh, launch an attack here? Yes, we can, and that's a pretty devastating one. The thing is, can we get a T-90 to attack? Okay, yeah, but not yet. It's too early just yet. I don't have any more. There we go. We can use you. No, not you. You. There we go. And uh, is that... I still don't think that's going to be enough. Uh, I, I don't think that's going to be enough. What is this? It's a nuclear missile. Don't want to waste that. I could go after South Korea. I would nuke my own city, though. I've got to be careful of that. I'd, I'd rather take uh, kind of the South Korean city with, with just my naval units just to be safe. I don't have anything else. I used everything. You guys... Oh, jet bombers here. Okay, you've got the range. Actually, a lot of jet bombers. Oh, you barely have the range. Nice. Okay, that worked out. Now, are there any units up north that could walk into the city? Obviously, I'd rather use that than anything. I don't think so. How about this T-90? Yeah, there we go. Boom. Two Chinese cities. Down. 45 happiness. Now, we for sure cannot reach this one. But I will move the T-90 into closer territory. I might nuke one more city while we're on the subject. Uh, let's, yeah, let's go ahead and just move everyone down south now. Very good job. Yeah, everyone move down. Let's get out of Mongolian territory. We're good. Thank you. Thank you, Mongolia. Uh, we're just passing through, buddy. I appreciate the stay. It was, it was great. Beautiful. All right. A couple more artillery movements here, and I think we'll be good. Very much considering one more nuke, just in case there's anything in this region. Again, I really think that most of China either lost their military due to the French war, or they were sending it down south for either, I don't know if they were going after Indonesia, if they were going after Vietnam, Singapore, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I will take the chance and use one more nuclear missile. This would probably be the last one that I use. Everything else is probably going to be needed to, need to, I need to take it by force, I think. So this is just for safety, really. And honestly, I probably should have waited till the next turn. That way, you know, we have uh, we have units ready to set up, ready to go for the next attack. But I guess not. Which is fine. There we go. Look, we can move this guy in there. T-90. Hopefully my uh, Air Force can help out with that. At least that's what I'm hoping. And that is it. Let's let's bring down the troops. Okay, so pretty successful first first uh, first turn. I think that that's, that's really, really crucial. In this campaign, as Russia, we've got to get the first attack off because uh, usually with dropping our nukes, I mean, nothing really happens in, retali in retaliation because by the time, you know, their turn comes up, already by that first turn, they've lost multiple cities. They've lost, you know, a lot of units, all this stuff. Wow. A lot of city states declared war on us. And the crucial one is Egypt. We need to keep an eye on Egypt and maybe Iceland. I don't think we have any... Uh, trade routes that go through Icelandic territory, but it's still something to, to kind of take notice of. All right, am I in the right zone? Yes, you wanted Eastern Orthodox. Uh, the USA has a uh, has major influence over Ecuador, so we should be able to convert this and get a little bit more. There we go. Nice. All right, next turn. What you got, China? What you got? So far, so good. Very, very pleased with this war so far. Uh, we plundered a caravan. Let's just hope that we don't get nuked because if we do, well, uh, we're going to lose a lot of units, especially if they put it in the right spot. They did something right now. Uh, yeah, I think I will. I uh, Will we have this research agreement up? How, how long is it for? Does it tell us? For 30 turns. Oh, I seriously doubt. I can't do this. This would be a waste of money. I seriously doubt we'll be at... at 
we won't be at war within 30 turns. I think we'd be at war, definitely. Uh, this war is going a lot faster than I thought. Yeah, so they, I think they mainly used a lot of, uh, I think they used a lot of their air force, but I, I, I saw some numbers, like, you know, kind of tick away from some of my units, but no, I don't think it, we got nuked at all. Brazil's not happy. I get that. Yep, and France, to, oh man, France just took over Madrid. Indonesia's not happy either. All right, France, that is a lot of power, again, that you're ganging in Europe. This is going to be a tough one. I mean, allied to Poland is going to be nice. If we stay allied, to, if we can get allied to Sweden, that'll also be a really crucial ally. Maybe some Northern African nations like Morocco or Libya. Got to keep an eye on uh, on Egypt here. We do have battleships that can somewhat protect us. I, I don't think Egypt's going to pose much of a threat. Uh, I could start attacking Alexander, Alexandria potentially. Does anybody else want Eastern Orthodox? I still have two more uses of this great prophet. Wow. All right, yeah, Nigeria wants it, but I've already, I thought I already gave it to Nigeria. Or maybe I haven't enough just yet. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to save you. I don't know if you can, I don't know if you're going to be able to make it back home all the way through the Pacific, but we're going to try it. We are, we're going to, well, damn it, we're going to try at least. Let's go for this fallout here. And uh, we could go after a few more trading posts, I guess, in the tundra. All right, very, very good. Very good, guys. So let's take this over. We have multiple rocket artillery attacks, and wow, uh, the city has pretty much no defense now. BMP, thank you very much. We're stealing gold at the same time while we do this. Okay, hold on. I gotta, I gotta really strategize here now. I gotta be careful of what city I attack. Oh, and here comes the Chinese fleet. So let's see what you have first. I might need to just chill here. You have a jet, two jet fighters. A nuclear missile on this submarine. Okay, so that needs to get taken down immediately. Uh, we can't take, we can't get it unless, oh my gosh, this submarine probably doesn't have the range either. Oh, there's a, there's some major stuff going on there. We cannot, oh, that's bad. And there's another carrier too. I might just want to nuke this entire region. Just nuke myself too. Well, let's make sure that we use an attack at least. Uh, okay, let's attack here, and let's attack, let's destroy it. Uh, are, 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 there's no more atomic bombs? I don't have any more atomic bombs. Is that what you're telling me? Maybe we slow it down. Can my, can my fighters go after the submarine? I don't think so. Uh, that wouldn't make any sense. Yeah, no, they can't. Oh, this is, this is gonna be bad. Okay, so let's begin to siege out, um, this city. Oh my goodness. All right, so we're going to need to go with a tactical nuke, and, and hopefully we put it, place it in the right spot. Might as well nuke it from here. So right here would be everywhere but our territory. Actually, no, it would be everywhere except for Pyongyang that would take damage. Uh, tiles to the south would take damage, but all their units would take damage, as well as two cities. So this is probably the best bet. Let's see what happens. Boom. Units gone. Nice. I think that was worth it. I personally do. Um, maybe I understand both arguments there. I was definitely getting a little bit nervous, but I, I, I think that it was the right choice, to be honest. Okay, I have a destroyer, but he is not going to make it over there in time. So he's not going to be able to take the city over just yet. Yeah, and I can't. That's part of the reason. They, they can't attack over, like, rough terrain. That's why I don't like these guys. Well, they can. Well, just not forest. This is open terrain. That's why. Okay, you move down south. Uh, is, there any, is there a road system? No, there's no road system from, Korea to, from North Korea to South Korea. Of course not, Drew. What are you, ta what are you thinking? Oh, so we should, we should be able to take that over next turn, I'm thinking. Either with the destroyers or the units, not 100%, but we'll leave that city to itself. And let's give you operational range, since you are just terrible at that. All right, yeah, I, I'm going to do... I don't want to drop any more nukes. That, that is, that's got to be it. I really want to save the rest that I have, and we can move you down. So actually, you know, you heal. You heal for now. You stay there. What else do I have? Archaeologists. Uh, you know, I do have a few por points of, of archaeology that I could go after. Here we go. Specific specifically in uh, former Turkey. Formerly modern-day Turkey. Not anymore. All right, T90. You can, you're telling me you can't attack this? Why? How is that? Wow, that sucks. Okay. Well, I'm still going to send you guys down south. Ah, uh, the road system. I see. The infrastructure just doesn't connect there. 
I could attack with a helicopter. But no, like we said, let's use a mo uh, majority of the jet bombers. We still have, we have multiple jet bomber attacks that we can utilize here. I guess Siege 2. This is actually going to be close. I don't think this is going to, I don't think we're going to make it here with just these jet bombers. Uh, I don't know, guys, but I'm going to have to stop right there, guys. I, I probably went a little bit over here. But uh, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.